and welcome to Germana Today. I'm Ashley Anglin and with me is my co-host. Cheryl Huff. Hey. Happy to be here again How's with you. How's it going? We've, this is our, we've done a few shows together. You're right. starting to feel like you're know the ropes here at the, the Fred Cat in well, Central Park? now I know how to drive to the Fred Cat. Okay, good start. <laughs> and you know how all this works? Of course. Of course we I do. I can <laughs> hoist things and <laughs> electrocute and people. No. 3D print, yes. 3D print. Yes, I don't know. Lots of wonderful things. So today we are rounding up some good news and milestones and developments that are going on uh, in the Germanic community with our students and alumni and just good goings on. And, and we're going to start hearing about Bailey George. Bailey George's parents said that she and her siblings would have to start off at Germana and prove that they were ready for college. And they did. And luckily, Bailey had some great mentoring from Diane Critchfield, mm -hmm. an English instructor at Germana, and Gail Wolf, who is the head of our psychology department. And she has gone on to have a wonderful life. Very good. Well, let's take a look. My husband and I both attended junior college and my husband went on to a master's degree. So we had decided as we were bringing our children up that to prove you were going to do what you said you were gonna do and be a good student, the, the best way to do that is go to junior college. There's a stigma about community college and I wanna be an advocate to change that because it's a great avenue for your children to mature before they go on to the big schools. I think Germana and any type of community college is definitely the way to go. I was able to figure out what I really wanted to do. Bailey started at Durana with thinking that she wanted to be an artist and she's a fantastic artist. She does all different mediums and she wanted a way to do that and we said artists don't make money. Figure out a way to do art and do something else that you can make a living. You can have a great hobby doing art but we want you to find something and Germana was where she went and she found it. When I came to Germana, I was anticipating to become an artist and I was gonna stick with the art, but I took a human relations class. It completely changed my mind and my mindset on college and school and life after school. So I took another class, psychology related, and I took more and more and more and I realized that it was definitely something that I was interested in and I knew by the time I graduated, that's what I wanted to do with psychology. And now I'm preparing for graduation from JMU to get my bachelor's degree, and I'm gonna go on to get a master's. I know for sure I wanna be a counselor, and I wanted to continue my art, and now I found out they have art therapy. So I'm hoping that when I become a counselor, I can also get certified to be an art therapist and integrate that into the profession. The main demographic that I would like to work with are children and adolescents, and I think that would be perfect for the art therapy. Luckily, she found something that she really, really likes, and she would not have had that opportunity in a four-year college. The four-year college is very fast-paced, and it's very competitive, and you kind of get lost in the weeds, but at a college like Germana, they're there for the students. You know, everyone makes it clear that our number one focus is students. And so we're there. We're there for, hey, if you're having a problem, come by and see me. So our doors are open. You know, we're here to help, especially when you're just getting your footing into college, which is very different from high school. Uh, that's our number one goal is to help. The ability to take just any kind of class allowed me to explore things that interest me and things that I can find passion for. Hearing that, that uh, you know, our students are prepared, and not just prepared, but they're successful as they go on, that's, that's a real joy. Well done, Bailey. That's just a really great to see any time that one of our students not only is successful at Germana, but beyond. Um, and I know that many of these students, the, there's a certain professor or two that really makes a difference, and it's no surprise to me to hear Bailey talk about Diane or um, Gail, both of them mm -hmm. are outstanding right. colleagues to work with, and we really have a lot of outstanding colleagues. We do, and one of them who's just winning a prestigious award, the 2018 uh, Outstanding Faculty Award from the State Higher Education Board of Virginia mm -hmm. is Patricia Parker. I know you know Patricia like yes, I do. Yes, absolutely. She She's has a rock star. tirelessly on redesigning our math program and now redesigning the math program to make even more sense with some of the major initiatives that are happening mm -hmm. across the state. Mm -hmm. and, and she's so, our chair for developmental math, which people yes. may not know is for those students who 
are ready to go to college at Germana, right. but maybe they're not quite ready to jump in and take calculus and exactly. they take the, those steps up. So extremely important to the real the reason that Germana is there exactly. right in the community. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, Patricia's Patricia's just yeah. She's, rock star she's like she's the I said. hardest working woman I know in the math department and probably across the college yes. and the state. Yes, and so absolutely. it's great to see so. that the state has recognized her hard work. Most definitely. Yes, well deserved. So let's take a look at an interview with Patricia. I'm Patricia Parker and I'm chair of the developmental math program at Germana Community College. I teach credit math as well as developmental uh, here at the college as well. I was the project manager for the Virginia Math Pathways Project. Over the last two and a half years, we have completely revamped all of mathematics in Virginia. And we did that in collaboration with the K-12 spectrum as well as with the universities. So all of our new courses were designed by teams that represented both community college and university input. In addition to that, we, as a community college system, looked at the co-requisite model, which is a new way to help students learning in context uh, versus doing developmental studies first. Uh, so we did that. We also looked at how we're placing students so that we can more accurately get them where they belong right from the beginning. And this was a two and a half year project that involved over 500 people uh, in terms of collaborative efforts. Uh, representatives from all 23 community colleges as well as universities as well as national organizations. Virginia has uh, in our redesign uh, gone to a quantitative reasoning and statistics base for all students that are not STEM majors. So all of those people that say they never need math, there is math that's important to them and that is in quantitative reasoning. Only about 13 percent of America's adults are quantitatively literate. So they may be able to read, but they may not be able to what's be called numerate. They're not able to use mathematics or numbers in their lives appropriately. Our quantitative reasoning course dives hard at that. And all of the focus of that course is what do you need to understand about numbers in order to be successful in your lives as productive citizens, good consumers, and if your job has slight math work, how would you do that? So I'm a believer that uh, going to higher ed, whether it's community college or college, is another opportunity for people to take a stab at mathematics, working on that attitude of I can do it versus I absolutely can't do it. That's exactly what we're aiming for, giving them the knowledge to have the power to control their lives. I received the Chev Outstanding Faculty Award. It's given to 12 faculty members in Virginia from any institution of higher education, so public, private, or community college. I was very touched and humbled that they recognized the hard work. But I truly was the lucky person here. Being the leader of this project and the 500 people's lives that touched my life and I learned from, that was the prize, and truthfully. And to be honored as the award uh, was, was very humbling and kind. I quite honestly never expected to receive this. I looked at other applicants from the past to get an idea of how the application should look, and it is amazing what people are doing out there. I'm so happy for Germana. As much support as Germana has shown me over the last three years while I've been doing all of this exterior work, I'm glad that they are getting that recognition as well. Well, very cool, and it looks like another great example of a, a well-paying job that you can get um, through connections with Germana. Right. We always like to see that. Yeah, we know that people in the area need good jobs. Sure. They need training to get good jobs. Mm -hmm. We know that the workforce is looking for people with skills. Uh, Germana Workforce has had particular success with the Fast Forward program, which is a grant initiative, and we've had record success with completions of skills. Great, and connecting employers and skilled exactly. workers. Exactly. Perfect. Let's take a look. Virginia will need, by 2023, 1.4 million new workers, most of them in the crafts and trades and non-baccalaureate positions. So our role at Germana is to help fill that gap by providing training and going into partnerships such as New Pathways where we can serve business and industry needs. 
the agreement between New Pathways and Germana allows for a person to have the ability to reach out for grants, for scholarships, and to get a full training uh, besides just being a machinist. There's, the, the skills to, to run machines or understand how to operate machines are all, all needed, but you also need all the skills that come with it. The skilled workforce is, is right now is at it's one of its lowest areas we've had. The demand for these skilled uh, employees is huge. It's a great addition because it creates another pathway for us to offer our students. This is a high demand and highly skilled workforce uh, credentials. They are needed across the entire United States. This will really truly help with our industrial maintenance program, which also ties in with an associate's degree through the Germana Academic Side. The Workforce Credentials Grant is a really important part of it. It's a grant that we have used at Germana very successfully. In fact, we've provided more credentials for the state of Virginia than any other community college in the past. But we've run out of money. It's such a popular program, so many people really are interested in it that we don't have enough money to meet the needs. In fact, across Virginia, all of the community colleges have run out of money to provide the grant opportunity to build workforce credentials. So we're asking the legislature this year to provide us more for the next year and help us fill that gap. Any more, the main purpose of a community college isn't just getting an associate degree and transferring to a four-year. More of the students come here to gain skills or credentials to either maybe get a promotion at work or they want to change careers and they're going to find it. So I think we have to uh, tell the story and one of the things in rewriting the Higher Ed Act, community colleges have never had their own specific section. I hope we can actually draft up a chapter that's just about community colleges to really give them the spotlight. We have to change some of the aspects of policy that already kind of suggest that career and technical is second class and put it on an even playing field with you know, going to a four-year college. These are careers that are good paying jobs, that do really important work. It's not just about talking to the college community, you have to talk to the workforce community and hear what the workforce needs are and what are programs that are being done, what are the needs that you predict five or ten years down the road. Now the great thing, Germana is the hub of this effort here. I think companies and businesses need to be involved. We all have needs and if we have a need then work with the college to develop the, the program that, that fits your need. The companies need to say, I have a need, so how do I meet that need and one of those things is to work with employees to go to college. So between what we're doing with New Pathways and working with the state through the Workforce Credentials Gap, Germana is doing everything it can to meet the needs of Virginia. Wow, that was definitely enlightening about that initiative. Yeah, it looks like more great stuff. We've just had one happy story after another today with Bailey and Patricia and their good news and the machinist right. training program and also this uh, workforce credential grant. Yeah. So I like that we've heard a little bit about a student. We've heard about an amazing faculty member, mm -hmm. student success. We're hearing about mm -hmm. uh, growth initiatives for the workforce. To the community. Right, exactly. Right. A little bit of everything. Everything, and you know, we all contribute to that. No matter what we teach, you teach languages. I teach English and humanities, philosophy. People learn to think. They learn mm -hmm. to write. They learn to examine what's going on in their community and be part of it. And machine things. And machine <laughs> things. <laughs> and build things. And build things. Yeah. And yes. It's all part of uh, what you do for your community. It is. If you want it a community that that's got great people doing great things. Yep. Then Glad we're here. We're here to yep. train them. Very good. Well, thank yeah. you for co-hosting again today. Oh, my pleasure, as always. And thank you to all of our guests on video, and thank you for watching another episode of Germana Today.